Hello. More Kirby. Big suck. So how are you guys doing? Better get your eShop purchases out before March 27th. Once it's gone, it's gone. You won't be able to get any more shit from there. And of course, as you can read the title of today's stream, I have not been feeling well. Huzzah! Hooray! I had a few existential episodes recently. Not been this bad since 2019. But when they happen, they fill me with an extreme amount of anxiety and fear. And I cannot bring myself to do anything. It fucked with my appetite. It fucked with my motivation. Well, my motivation's already fucked with, fucked with it more than it usually is. But obviously, as you can see, if I'm streaming here, I'm doing a bit better, but I'm not 100%. But hey, it's better. That's something to be happy about, right? I did go on a buying spree on the eShop for the 3DS yesterday. I'm starting to fear I won't have enough money to get everything I want from the eShop. Which sadly I'm just going to have to deal with. And have to strategize around what I truly do want. And what I think I can just get on later on. I'm trying to focus on um, Virtual Console for the games that are very, very hard to come by. And ones I'd rather not play on a handheld, so Game Boy. So I got Mario Land series, and I got uh, I'm missing one of the Wario Land games. I accidentally bought a game that I could get on PS4, so oops. Apparently, Mario vs Donkey Kong Tipping Stars is a cross buy, so I got it on 3DS and gave me a code for the Wii U version. That's another thing, there's games on the Wii U I still want, but again, I'm, I'm sort of prioritizing 3DS stuff. Yeah, yeah but then that's another thing, I just, I, it, instead of buying NES and SNES Virtual Console, like, I'd rather just get the NES Classic and the SNES Classic. They just seem like easier options. Oh, I need more.
But yeah, now I've been struggling to eat for the past couple days because it's like I can't tell if I'm hungry or I'm just ill. Regardless, I had to eat something just in case. Today, I, it's not been so bad. Might even have some chocolate later on. That's the thing I couldn't start, feel like it's a good summer. Dad took me to McDonald's yesterday, so of course I couldn't refuse that. Didn't have a massive, my usual order, because I wasn't too keen, but I... I still ate at least. But yeah, no, it hasn't been this bad since 2019, which is where it first started. I first started getting them. The others I've had in between then and now have been this extreme, but they have been horrible. Gonna be a secret there. I've got, I've got one of my plushies by my side so I can hold it. Every time I feel like I'm close to doing something productive, I feel like I just don't. I mean, I guess today was a start. I downloaded a program I wanted to get. So that means nothing until I actually do something with it. But it's something that lets me overlay images and then I can, like, trace. to help with reference with finally making my avatar, hopefully. Well, I've already fucked up. Oh, there's more. I should, just in case. Not that I can get it now, recover it now, I've already lost one. Oh no, it wants me to rush there. Fucking great. Yeah, no, I've missed that one, so I've now completely missed it all. Ah well. I may have hot dogs today.
But yeah, it fucked my motivation more so that I kind of bring myself to game in my own time. Like, Persona 5, one of my comfort games. I, I got bored of. I still made par? God damn. There, there, there's no... There's no reason why I get these these episodes that just happen when I'm left alone with my thoughts. Thinking is dangerous. Ah, shit, I lost it. <laughs> ah, you bitch. Wait behind you. Oh, okay. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. Oh, there's a ladder on above it. I thought it would open. <laughs> Sneaky. And I gave you gave a cut a gotcha anyway. And another Walter D, I guess. Okay, thank you. 
and held the wrong thing, but it worked out because it drops the items now. They didn't used to do that. Oh, it gave me one anyway. Can I, can I ski across lava? <sighs> Also, nice cream. I mean, my usual constant fear, anyway, is the fact that we, we lack time to do all the things we want to do. And so I end up doing nothing. <laughs> Best way to go about it, but hey. I'm trying. That's what matters. I try. Even if it takes a while. You bitch! How was I supposed to avoid that? Seriously. And I... No, I can't. I'm gonna try walking on it anyway. Don't try walking on it. Got an idea. That should hopefully respawn it. It did! I'm a genius. I missed. There we go. So I finally figured out why the Sonic Lost World DLC was corrupting. It doesn't finish installing until you boot the game up. Which I can't do until I own the game. <laughs> but hey, at least I still have the option to re-download it after the store closes. That's benefit, at least. Because obviously I was trying to... Word. Future-proof? what the C shop ordeal is doing to me as well. I'm just future proof because it's like, oh yes, I want to play these games, but I can't play them if the eShop's gone. So uh, let's waste a bunch of money. Things I have I had several months to prepare for this and I still impulsed bought things. Whoa. 
my head's spinning. I almost felt compelled to start recording footage for my first video I want to do. Almost. Also, that's another thing. I wanted to play something yesterday, but I couldn't bring myself to do any game, really. But at the same time, I got stuck browsing the eShop. But I either wanted to play Modern Warfare 2 campaign or Monster Hunter. Modern Warfare 2 for the PS3, I mean. I haven't got the remake or the whatever. Whatever they release nowadays. Haha, <laughs> trophy. Hello, sneaky. I missed. Don't let me lock onto it. Ah, oh, okay. Damn it, how do I get Crash? Wait, no, Crash is the fucking bomb people, isn't it? Me, Dum Dum. I haven't inhaled them one time. That was another thing, I recently discovered a Monster Hunter-like mobile game. I haven't played a lot of it yet, but like, it's different than most mobile games, I'll give it that. Burned my phone though. <laughs> Hi, Stab Uncle. I hate the wild hammer, it's so fucking slow. I don't know, I'm mixing it with the fucking Legend of Zelda character now. Uh, 
I swear that's actually the name of the fruit. Hold on, no, I'm googling. A durian. Fuck. They're very close spellings. I think my initial exposure to that fruit was Mario Sunshine, of all things. The only fruit you can't fucking pick up. You have to kick it around. Also, it's just weird that it has its spiky texture. Considering I mentioned Monster Hunter earlier, I don't know when I want to play it again. I was one to yesterday, but I got just like I said, I got distracted with BDS stuff. Reuse so I can get more games on it, and yeah, I pick up page so now I can buy some stuff. I get paid weekly, I can afford a couple more for my next pay, but the thing is, I have taken a day off that day, so that's gonna hinder it a bit. I, I really felt like I couldn't do work. I, too, I was too out of myself. It's weird because the top of options that eShop gives you is like not in a good pattern. Like 10, 25, 50, and then 110. Not 100, just 110. Why? I don't know. But at least I'm not buying as much as Gerard the Completionist. And any game I could find physical, like... bought physical? I think. Like, there's just some games that it's just on other consoles that I don't need it to. Just... What is this button? What is this button? Huh? Wait, was I meant to get the ball in it? Also, apparently New Super Mario Bros. 2 has DLC. Okay, I don't know what that switch does. Thing is, you can't access the DLC for Super Mario Bros. 2 until you... ...beat the first level. Uh, first world, sorry. Of course, I did buy the DLC for Miva, Mii Plaza, because 
That shit's the goat. Just hope I can run into more people that want to walk around with their 3DS these days. Oh uh, yeah, Fire Emblem technically has DLC as well. Fuck, hmm. But like... Uh, I'm not too bothered about it. I've never even beaten it. I mean, there is that triple pack, but like, that's impossible to get. I don't think I'm too keen on replaying... I don't know. I'm, I'm just not too keen. Also, for some reason I had a bunch of games I had watched listed that are very much obtainable physical on one of the consoles, and I don't know why I had that. I'm dumb. So I've accidentally bought one game that I could have gotten on PS4. A bunch of other games I had um, on, on digital watch list was um, Final Fantasy Theatre Rhythm. Curtain Call. And then Rodeo the Sky Soldier. I mean, to be fair, there was a couple Wii games, like Zack and Ricky, but I, nah. I found out for £3 on CEX. There was... Um, a DS game I did buy for the sake of the fact that I didn't want it on DS. Pokemon Ranger. If you know, you know. That's, fu that's gonna block the fuse, isn't it? Yep. A whole 3DS is not replaceable, but a gamepad is, at least. Not that I'd want to replace a gamepad, but you know. What annoys me is that some games are physical in some countries, but some aren't in others. So, like, Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix is digital only in America. I don't have to worry about that because I got it physically, but that is one game that you should not miss on. If you're a rhythm fan, of course. There's um, Harmonite as well on the 3DS. It's okay. There's the Box Boy series made by um, Al. I think. Our laboratories or whatever it's called nowadays. It's a neat, neat puzzle game series. I'm just shocked they managed to squeeze out three. They even have a box by Amiibo in Japan. Oh, that is one thing. The Wii U version of Smash or 3DS. The DLC for that. If you care about the Smash Legacy, then yeah. Otherwise, no. I should double check if I still have my DLC on my 3DS. Because I don't know if I'd check it since my hard drive wipe. Because I, I completely lost everything digital wise when I transferred my. System transferred my 3DS from an old to new. I lost progress on Wii Pla uh, Mii Plaza, but I don't even recognize anything lost anymore with how much progress I regained. Uh, what are the digital digital games? Kirby Triple Deluxe. Apparently, that I've already 100%ed again. I don't know. Even more so with the more progression than other modes. Hole in the wall! Bring on the wall!
Yeah, I think I need to take a break from mobile games. I think they're not helping with my current state. Control room? What? Also, yeah, I didn't get squished. The virtual console games that aren't NES or SNES definitely go for. If they're hard to obtain. Like, there was a couple of N64 games I got for Wii U that... Mm, way too pricey. Uh, Paper Mario. And uh, Harvest Moon. Also had uh, Kirby 64 on there for some reason, even though I own it physically now. I don't think I've tried it or tested it to see if it works. I fucking love Harvest Moon. There's also a Game Boy Color Harvest Moon, which was also in the 3DS eShop. Uh, which Harvest Moon was the last official Harvest Moon? Because I'm not counting the ones that have been absolutely fucked over. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try them. Off, let me on your head. Back, even. Thank you. Wouldn't be wise to attack those. But I, I grew up with the Wii. Um, version of Harvest Moon as well as the DS. The Wii one's weird. Instead of just having the one dedicated farm, you have an option of three. And they're all fucking tiny. Um, there's a Harvest Moon on GameCube, right? I don't know, just uh, what was the last official Harvest Moon game? To summarize the book. Bokujo Monogatari series was localized as Harvest Moon until 2013, which now localizes as a story of seasons. Any game released within with the Harvest Moon title from 2014 onwards are part of the different series called Created by Natsume. I'm still confused how that happened. But 2013! Was the last official... Last correct Harvest Moon game. Uh, what's come up is uh, Harvest Moon 3D A New Beginning. Can't be correct. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Okay, these are not correct in the slightest.
Boy of Seasons. So apparently, um, Marvelous Entertainment are the ones that made the originals. Story of Seasons, Story of Seasons, Harvest Moon 3D, A New Beginning. It is literally that one. That was the last one with that name. Still published by Natsume, though. L2 Towns Hero Beef Pie. So, ever since then, we've had uh, one, two, three, four Story of Seasons games. And there's spin offs, apparently. Oh yeah, Room Factory is a thing. Fucking hell. I've yet to try that. Yeah, that makes sense. God, there was a PSP Harvest Moon? What? What was the one I just grew up with called? Just Harvest Moon DS. Fucking 2007! Harvest Moon Magical Melody is the Wii one that I grew up with also, which is also on GameCube? Harvest Moon Boy and Girl. What a name. It brought me to Harvest Moon Back to Nature for the PS1 for some reason. Oh, it's... Okay, it was re-released for Vita, I guess. It is a compilation of Harvest Moon Back to Nature and... Okujo Monogatari Harvest Moon for Girl. So it's just a definitive edition or something. Yeah, I'm not good with names. Yawase no ta. Oh, it's just magic melody. The Japanese version of magical melody, it says. Gotcha. Which came out before Harvest Moon DS. Boy and girl. Bird vs. Camel. And obviously there's Harvest Moon DS Cute, which is just Harvest Moon DS but with girl. Which I don't think I've seen a copy of, I don't know. Instead of just giving you the option to pick a gender within the game, no, you have to fucking... Buy the certain game for it. Um, Animal Parade. Don't know what that is. Was uh, didn't I get um one at one point? And I didn't. I haven't touched it yet. Island something. Might have been Island of Happiness. I don't know. Right, Story of Seasons. Friends of Mineral Town. I think is like going back to classics. Yeah, remake of the first Harvest Moon.
First game in the main series playable on PC. It's on fucking PC? What? Holy shit! Pioneers of Olive Town. Known in Japan as Bokujo Monogatari. Olive Town to keep Bo no Daichi. Seasons. Oh, hi, Corby. Pioneers of Olive Town. Which one's that? I'm too used to the art style that I grew up with. I, I don't like any other looking art style. Like being all lanky, tall, and whatnot. I like the short, stubby, blue capped character. Downstream elements it hasn't been an hour yet. Real the town's not out. Nah, wait, yeah, no, it is. Hmm. BDS only. Apparently, there's a wonderful life that's coming out in, in June. Um, actually, it, we did initially mention Friends of Minimal Town. Uh, we, we were actually initially investigating when it became Story of Seasons and when Harvest Moon was no longer by the same devs, and that happened on Harvest Moon 3D: A New Beginning, released in 2012. Oh, it's got a different fucking box art and PAL regions. Got it. Got it. I could have sworn I've seen it before then. But yeah, no, there was a BDS Harvest Moon game that I got that wasn't made by the original creators. What was it called? I want, to, I want to see the Harvest Moon games released after... Not Simic Company games. Uh, no, no. Lost Valley. Lost Valley was the one I got, and it was basically Minecraft. <laughs> At least I think that's the right one. Yes, it is. I haven't played it since I first tried it. Though, I, I wish I had a 3D capture, 3DS capture card. Damn it! Uh, Puzzle Day Harvest Moon, Frantic Farming. Isn't Frantic Farming? No, that's not the one I was thinking of then. What's that fucking Harvest Moon game? That's just a fucking Mario Party thing. Mad Dash.
Wiki, please. It's not the vertebra it's not a matter of usefulness, it's just the fact that I want to stream playing these games. Harvest Moon series, and not to be confused with the Story of Seasons series, which used to be called Harvest Moon, but is now known as Story of Seasons. Frantic Farming... So, I've got a list. It's not a big list. Of the not Harvest Moon. They don't even have wiki pages, some of these. Mad Dust doesn't even have a wiki page. Sky Tree Village? What the fuck is that? Oh boy, a mobile only Harvest Moon. I don't like it. Anyway, I've distracted myself long enough. Back to game. over there. Can't attack while on the fucking thing. Oh, shit, I missed. I still missed. Is no one's going to be doing 3DS capture cards anymore these days, and if so, they're not going to be fucking easy to find, and they're not going to be cheap. Plus, it's putting my own console at risk, my personal console at risk. And it's a, it's a rare it's a rare one as well. Being the Majora's Mask um, console. Are you over oh, here? Oh, come back. Thank you. It, it was the one styled 3DS XL, new 3DS XL that I wanted. Well, obviously, it means I can't make use of the customizable plates, but. Eh. I don't think constantly swapping place around would be nice with the 3DS capture card anyway, it would get in the way, probably. Wait, are we already on a boss? Monkey. Now I cannot shoot the fucking rock out. Why do I get the sense that I'm going to be put into a boss rush? Because he had no intro whatsoever. Car!
time chest, a uh, time cage. Now this is a whole ass level just with a big monkey at the beginning. You or me? Bobby. Oh yeah, this is definitely a boss switch. Uh, what I want to do next... I should really get on to playing Breath of the Wild before Breath of the Wild, uh, before Tears of the Kingdom releases. Not Breath of the Wild 2, it doesn't say anywhere Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> I still haven't made that list I keep telling myself to make. A uh, list of um, games I plan to stream and like priority li wise of what I want to stream soonest. Oh, hello, chest. Like, of course, I'm doing this now. I did want to do Dead Space Remake, but I want the limited run games collection edition. Which is never. So that's a good start. There's also a couple of PS5 games I had that, with the intent of what I with the intent of streaming. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna do those now. Black Tail, Hard Space, Shipbreaker. Um, that's it. <laughs> and then I did also want to get, um, Metal Hell Singer. But there's no point buying games if I'm not gonna play them straight away. Oh, Mass Effect is definitely on that list. I don't know when. Dark, Soul Dark Souls 2 and 3 are still on that list. I just don't know when. And I need to plan for what to horror game to play in October. Not that I have to confine horror games specifically to October, but, like, it just fits. Ignalis. I recognise that name. I can't remember what it was now. I do have Alien Isolation, which I've not touched yet. Oh look, there's the thirst trap again. Yeah, I wanted to do Resi 3 this year. Or sometime soon. It's like Resi 4's remake is out, and I want to get that, but I want to play the OG Resi 4 first. Well, o OG, I got the remaster on PS4. And then Resi 5 and 6, I'm not going to keep confined to October because that's just daft. Did I have a Jet 1 before? Oh no, it's the roller coaster thing, gotcha. I can tilt left and right. Fuck. Amnesia is definitely on that list, I don't know when though. Say what you are, will about the game, it is a decent horror game, the first one at least. I've not heard great things about the other two.
Th this is why I need to make that list so I can look at it and be like, Oh yeah, I want to play this next. I feel like this next. As if this was actually a secret area. I thought it was just going to be an invisible wall there. Nice. Hell, I was even thinking about playing a bit of Breath of the Wild after doing Kirby today. There was also the idea of trying to do a uh, no save playthrough with Resi 1. Trying to speedrun it. Because I'm not smart. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, but I, I kind of want to commit to playing Tears of the Fallen Kingdom on release. But yeah, I've, I've said that for many other games I wanted to say, said I wanted to play at release, and I've not committed to that very well. Hell, it was why I played Sp Dead Space 2 and 3 on stream, so I can prepare for remake. I didn't get that as soon as it came out because... Capitalism. The, the, the fucking... EA used limited run games to redistribute, well not redistribute, just distribute the collector's edition, but they're not the EA, why didn't they just distribute it themselves? So with that, it just made it harder for anyone outside of America to get it. And I think that's fucking bullshit. I can understand people using limited run games to redistribute to distribute physical games that have no physical copies, and they're just like indie devs and whatnot. But why a triple A industry? I can easily do this shit with a snap of their fingers. And I don't like this whole multiple editions bullshit that Limited Run Games does as well. It gives people a sense of needing to impulse to get every single thing or something. Like, I, I, I liked Limited Run Games for what they did. It gave me options to buy digital games physically. And I liked that. It's all this, all the shit they try to cram into it as well. Is on the left side, that is on the right side. Not confusing it. Hey. Yoo -hoo. It's gone. So it's not a multi barrage shot, but it makes a fucking giant AoE. I know, but like, my point is I don't want them to be solely American focused. It makes it fucking expensive to deliver to, to here. Bed. That, that, that increased my speed, what? Is 
it's like, oh yes, this this collector's edition is three hundred dollars. Oh, you want to ship to the UK? That's another hundred dollars, please. And then maybe there's a chance of getting fucking customs because oh, we decided to open your thing now. Pay us. Like, how is that fucking my fault? Oh yeah, I, I've yet to use Bai -E as well. It's just a struggle of figuring out what I want, but I have got something on mine, but it's like, when do I want to afford it? There's like, there's um Dragon Quest. I forget which one. It's like an MMO, it's closer to Japan. You fucking dick! Did yeah, Baiyi apparently buys things for you? If you buy it off them, of course. And any product that says it's not shippable from the Japanese website, they'll ship it to you anyway. Or at least that's what they suggest. But you can't buy it directly from a Japanese site, but if you buy it through Baiyi, they'll happily do it for you, sort of thing. And amazingly enough, they give you a fucking 2,000 yen voucher to start off with. That's a lot. Like from with that two thousand yen, you could already buy something off the straight off the bat. I think you would need you to actually put some money in first. I don't know. Either way, I do at least have something on mine, but I don't know when I'll buy it, and I need to really dedicate to actually learning Japanese, because I have not been in the best of moods doing that recently. What with all the uh, despair and whatnot. So there's a buy, but for y the US, is what you're saying. I wish I could get some posters and prints, but I don't have any room in my room. Like, I have no wall, only shelves and TV and door. The only things I could fit on the wall are my small sprite things, which I haven't done a lot of recently. I think the lack of space doesn't help with my motivation either. I almost got hit by that. Someone should because America is quite, quite fucking big. It has a lot of stuff there. And usually, when I want to get stuff from America, it's fucking expensive. Like thirty dollars shipping or some shit. Probably more. It's fucking absurd that game asks for five pounds shipping, as well. Of tiny fucking cardboard envelope. I don't even think Amazon asks for five pound. More like three twenty-five or something. I can't remember. Can I kill you? Is there water here?
There's also, there's just too many MMOs I want to play, but because of how many hours the MMOs ask for, I feel like I just can't. I'm too scared to touch them because of it. I recently did buy from CEX. With, with like looking at items from the eShop and like, oh wait, I can just get these physically. So I've ordered um, Final Fantasy thingy. Theatre them, and also Zap and Wiki. I also got Rodeo the Sky, Sky Soldier off eBay. Which I also had on my Wii U watch this. Which apparently was originally a Wii game, so like I got the Wii U copy and it came with both a Wii version and a Wii U version. Like, Jesus. You didn't have to go above and beyond for that. Also, I pretty much have to get that Waddle D to even leave. Why did that make it go down, though? is giving very last world vibes and again I haven't seen anything cosmic based to get so maybe not Kirby always ends with like universal cosmic worlds trying to kill God or something and again I don't even think Triple Deluxe did that Again, but you are just giant climbing a bean, giant beanstalk. Ah, oh, I can't get it over. Fine. Damn it. Oh jeez, you... Stop it! Yeah, no, game has very extortionate shipping prices. Well, not... I mean, I'm probably exaggerating that a bit, but like... Oh look, I have £10 in my wallet for my reward points. Oh, what's that? You want £5 for this £10 item? What the fuck? I got £5 shipping for this £10 item. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know, maybe I'm just out of the loop of how prices should be. I'm still waiting on my fucking Castlevania Collector's Edition from Limited Run Games. Fuck's sake, man. This was ordered back in COVID. And anything else I've ordered after that one has still arrived, but fucking Castlevania still hasn't. I mean, yeah, I've already played this one Castlevania though, it's uh, the duo pack of Symphony of the Night and um, Wonder of Blood. Which is why I'm buying it again, because I like it that much. Which maybe I could do with Dead Space. Just buy it and then 
Buy, buy the game and get the collector's edition later. Thought deal. I should have enough time to save money for October to get these games. Oh, 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 hold on, that's a cracked wall there. I'm still playing Raid Shadow Legends, by the way, but I've gone a bit slower with it. I also ended up taking on Misplay, which, um, yeah, no, I need to ease up on that. It's how I found, um, Monster Hunter like mobile game, though, so I thought that was neat. My phone's not the best for it, it seems, though. Spiny, you dick. Look at all those Eggman robots. I may be stupid, but I also want to platinum Sonic Unleashed someday. On this, it doesn't run the best on the PS3. <laughs> so that's gonna be hell. If only PS5 or PS4 did backwards compat with PS3 games. Damn! <laughs> Now realizing this could be a metal iron work for some shit. Which would explain all the fucking lava. Then again, we're also next to a volcano. things in my basket on um, Amazon. Just get a GoPro stick, my dad says. It'll be cheap, he says. Fucking 30 quid! It's more expensive than the fucking filter I'm going to get for my fucking microphone, so I held off on that until I got the eShop sorted out. The reason I'm wanting this GoPro stick is so I can put my PlayStation 4 camera on it. Clamp it to my fucking desk and whatnot. Thirty quid for that though, that does not seem worth it. Oh yay.
I don't want to play OG Resi 2 as well, but I don't know when that will happen. I haven't even went back, I haven't went to Rabe's Exodus yet. How long has it been since I've wanted to do, since I said I wanted to do that? Oh look, it's the king again. There's so many games on DS I want to why am I all the way back here? Fuck you. There's so many games I want to stream on DS, but I just can't. Unless I just ugh, emulate them. Ugh. I don't want that. I pressed jump. Why did you eat my jump, you fuck? Maybe I should have gotten the health. Nice. Great. And there's a lot of videos I want to do that's DS related as well. A lot of games on DS I want to do videos on. I've yet to do even one video yet. Let's say... Did I get a blueprint? I can't remember. Clearly not if I not get the cutscene thing. God damn, I've missed a blueprint. Right, there's probably a hidden thing somewhere. You. Oh 
Vamos, dude. Dick. Dick. I'm over there, fuck. Let. Bowling. Aww, missed one. Snack. Found the prince. More than one block for some reason. <laughs> nah, I'm still behind. Got done. You, why would you pick football over Sonic? Heretic. That's not a secret, okay. FIFA? Mini games? What kind of FIFA game were you playing? Then again, I haven't played any FIFA, but I doubt any of the modern FIFAs have that any, <laughs> these days. Absolute lacklusting button paste bullshit. I keep up thing with your me. Yeah, okay. Apparently the Wii U is not the best at emulating Wii games, surprisingly, even though it's literally made to function like that. Poor girl. Why more mask DDD? Oh, that's a fucking fire! <laughs> Going up again. As if I just fu There's a perfect dodge in the game?! I could've sworn I already knew that and I've already forgotten. I didn't get it, that definitely is a perfect dodge! Fuck you!
We never owned the 3DS we use, so I don't see how much hurt the shop closing. Well, no shit, wouldn't. There we go. But I'm telling you, the 3DS and Wii U had some great games. Wii U especially was underrated as fuck. Got no fucking support. Like the Vita. <laughs> did have support, it's just no one fucking cared for it! Wait, he's normal now? Also, GD looks different than normal. Looks chubbier. Ah, oh, that's it! His head is usually a separate thing and not- you don't visibly see his neck. Now he's just all neck. <laughs> oh. Go the waddle deep. Yep. <laughs> that is, in fact, not the end. Automatic language detection activated. Authentication system activated. <laughs> of our science facility, Lab Discovera! On this thrilling tour, you'll be introduced to the ultimate life form. Shout of the Hedgehog. Specimen IDF-86. From the moment IDF-86 arrived on our planet, it began a campaign of destruction that threatens the native wildlife of our entire world. Luckily, our research team managed to capture it before it could complete its invasion. Once it was contained, our lab began studying IDF-86's spatial teleportation ability. Research that laid the groundwork for the planetary warp technology we enjoy today. However, 30 years after our research began, a warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. A new life form, separated from the main specimen, escaped in the aftermath. That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF-86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made Eternal Capsule, here on the top level of Lab Discoverer. This wouldn't be Elphalin, would and it? here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form, Specimen IDF-86. Shadow the Hedgehog, I need to stream Sonic Adventure 2. Death to all who oppose me!
Alex the Lion! <laughs> well, it's definitely Elphalyn looking, but that can't be Elphalyn. There he is! Simba! Simba! You, you'll feast on my ass! You, I need to give him a fucking consent first. Wow, what a fight. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> There's dodge attacks? The fuck? Why am I only learning this now? At seemingly the end of the game. Angie now. Purple Angie. Ooh, okay. No! Munch, 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 munch. Doing it again? No, that's something else. What the fuck? Damn it! I sure wish I knew about dodging sooner. Alphalyn, I remembered your name. Lob 4. 
You took everything but your other half. Oh, it's not much of a threat at all. Oh god, this turned into Resi 2. Help. How long was this corridor? Get out of here. I mean, the corridor in fucking Busy 2 wasn't infinite. I'd say corridor is more, like, more of a train car. I can't outrun it, fuck's sake, man! Fuck off! Can't be over though. Must be all the abilities here. Except for Crash, of course. And Sleep. But I, I like Gun. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. Here it is! The final battle! I give you the Emperor! Really wish there was a way to play fucking House of the Dead 1, man. Every way I try to find it, it just doesn't seem to work. The ultimate life form, Vector Elphilis. Okay, no, can't hit you from here. Woo! Jeez. Ah shit, I didn't dodge that one. I 
Damn it. I was still shooting. You're attacking at the same time, Jesus. Well, I just fucking botched that royally. Back. That does not look healthy. Fuck. I just want to dodge, but okay. Yeah, I'm low on health. I thought you were going to do big rock again. No one there. <laughs> oh no, it melt. Perfect cell has lost the thing to mix him perfect. And a pop star. Oh, I don't think it's gonna fit through the vortex, but um, I don't want you to try. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh shit, I thought I was going to form something there! Fuck! It's 
so much harder to see than a car. Look at this Majora's Mask bullshit! Just need the clock tower bells now. I've lost control. Come on, bullshit my way through this! <laughs> the power of friendship prevails! Saving. <laughs> oh, we've landed on Planet Popstar. No, don't tell me this is a death. No! Unless you closed it from the inside. With DDD in it. <laughs> oh, man. What did you see, Kirby? Tell the class. Oh. Oh, that was anticlimactic with I'm dying! Never mind, I'm alive! Oh look, he's given lyrics in both English and the fictional language. Just make it dead easy to decrypt it, I guess. Also a friend with beasts now. Was the saddest death being Joel from Last of Us Part 2? <laughs> Did 
this effect. I mean, I have a bunch of other buttons too, but like, <laughs> I don't know when to properly use them. You know, like. It's just. Part of my problem is knowing when to use them. Also, I can't even tell if that, um. That button's sound actually goes through, because I don't hear it. Oh yeah, no, Joel's fine. Um, laboratories. Is it a game that's on my to playlist though? That is the real question. Also, you didn't say if the wheelbarrow will be right back tune actually played or not. Because sometimes it plays for me, sometimes it doesn't. The monitoring function on OBS is a bit fucky. Oh yeah, that's the joke. That it, it's it's the Eric Andre show, which I still need to watch. The idea is to freeze. Do we continue? What? But the idea is to like freeze frame it on something funny. It also mutes me as well. Surprise, Jazz Band! The arena leveled up? Uh, do you mean to be continued this game, or in another game? Also, there's just King DDD chilling up there. I don't know how I feel about his design. The first trap summons me. <laughs> Game's kind of like Fire Emblem, and that basically everyone can die. Oh, Vortex. Joy! Hell, I was so... I was so under the weather... For, oh, Jesus, a whole new world. A whole new world! I knew... I knew there'd be some cosmic space bullshit somewhere! Oh god, I'm going to have to save that for next time then. Yeah, I was so under the weather with my existential episode that I didn't even want pizza either. Now suddenly I'm fucking craving pizza. My dad might have cooked me something though, that's probably why he knocked on the door. The fuck is that in the bottom right? That's not the same. Oh, so it seems like a level from each world as well. Leading up to the laboratory.
That's cool, man. But yeah, next time. As for now, do I continue or do I stop? I kind of want to continue. Not on this game, though. So I'm going to leave that game there and I'm just going to go onto this screen. Which I can hear the music for because of course I am, I can. Other oh, music? Nah. Just randomly works.